genre tag you don't get very often. That was crazy quirky cabaret pop garage band from Malaysia, Marionexis with Marilyn Monroe. Okay, now our next act publicly proclaims that they are chronically bashful, but seriously, if you ask me, there is nothing bashful about their music because with song titles such as All Your Children Want For Dinner Is You, I think it's pretty clear what these boys have been having for dinner. Okay, let's get to know these boys better with this exclusive video by Life Too Short. This is Encounters with a Yeti. You guys want to introduce yourselves and uh, let everyone know uh, what instruments you play and uh, maybe just tell us a little bit about the band and its sound and how you guys formed uh, initially. Yeah, uh, my, I'm Pon Sheep, one of these uh, I play guitars and uh, write some of the songs. So yeah, um, give me a little uh, background on how the band kind of got together and where you guys came up with the concept for your sound. I know you guys probably have some obvious inspirations to uh, to where you guys pick up your sound and how you make it your own unique sound, I guess. So. Yeah, um, we started off a long time ago. We, we were in different bands. And since the 90s, we were playing already. And a few years ago, we like, like, formed uh, another band it's called the Christmas Lights. 2003. Yeah, around, yeah, that was around 2001. And then after that, somebody in Maryland had the same name. Uh, so we kind of like adopted the name of my solo project and became a band. Okay. Uh, and a friend of ours joined us, so we became three guitars. Uh, uh, that was like two years ago when we started playing this kind of music. Uh, mainly because we're very interested in soundtracks from films. Mm -hmm. We want to make soundtracks for films and stuff. And at the same time, we listen to a lot of uh, uh, um, electronic stuff, mm -hmm. uh, instrumentals. And, uh, I was listening to a lot of Mogwai, uh, Godspeed, The Black Emperor. And I finally, when thanks to them, I realized you know, you can actually make music like this. Because yeah. before, I used to have trouble um, making songs, you know, having lyrics and stuff. And, you know, you have a nice yeah, tune. Yeah. You have a nice tune, but then you don't have the right lyrics for it, so it never comes out. Yeah. So right now, it's really nice that it's actually, um, uh, it's actually a genre mm. that, that, has, uh, that makes this kind of, that doesn't really require uh, uh, you need to be very loquacious. Yeah, and I think that's kind of common for a lot of post-rock bands is just kind of start instrumental and then yeah. just really write a lot more songs that way and yeah, yeah. see what happens. Um, I also, I sent somebody a demo and I got the same, the immediate response was it sounds like something that could be in a movie was you might find the, the video that was posted. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah, like, yeah. it's kind of interesting you said that because that's right off the bat what, what somebody first listened, that was the first thing they said was this, this could be in a movie. So yeah. I guess that's good <laughs> feedback. I get that a lot, I think my sister even said that. Yeah, yeah. I guess any last thoughts you want to say to people that might be listening in Chicago and the world about uh, encounters with the Yeti and what to expect in the future? I uh, just want to tell them um, well, hello to them and maybe they'd like to visit our page every now and then, listen to our stuff, you know, let us know if they like it or not, and you know, at least we'd know if mm -hmm. people outside of Philippines would get into this stuff that we're making. It would be nice. And what is your uh, what are your pages? Oh that's um Yeah it's uh we have a Facebook so that's uh, facebook.com slash encounters with the Yeti. Um, on Twitter it's uh, reclusive yeti. Mm -hmm. uh, what, do we have anything? We have a MySpace. Yeah we have a MySpace, MySpace dot com MySpace encounters that encounters with the Yeti. Yeah, it's nice well, you have one big fan in Chicago, so hopefully it'll be like a virus that'll look like <laughs> the world. Hopefully. I'm a big so, fan, of course, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for your time. Hey, thanks. Yeah, thanks thanks thank for you. having us.